This program contains strong language and sexual references throughout. And speaking of decisions, David needs to make one pronto with Letitia, because her plans for a cosy future together didn't appear to go down too well with the big fella. At this moment in time, all I can think of is somebody coming in who I know and then being isolated. You don't want your ex to feel isolated, which is fair enough. That's for me, I just feel like that. That's not no, I think that, yeah, I know, but I just feel for me. Well, I can tell you straight from now, if any of my exes come in, I would not give a shit. You're scared. I'm not scared. And that's scaring me. I'm thinking, fuck, like, what if you are feeling to your ex? I don't understand men. Like, why did he start something with me if he still has feelings for his ex? I don't want to treat you like an idiot because you're a respectful woman, you're a cool, you know what I mean? If it no, wasn't... but like I'm telling you now, from now, if you feel like you have any feelings towards your ex, it's not like a then feeling, like, just, just leave this because I, I, no. I don't want to even want to get into it. Really? Genuinely? I wish I didn't even like you. You know why? Because if I didn't like you, that would be easy for me. It'd be a lot easier for me. Being liking you is annoying. I feel like one major issue is going to be us sleeping in the same bed together. Right? Yeah? I guess so. Oh. I need to pee anyway. Oh. This is why I was keeping my guard up. Because I had a feeling like something in the back of my mind was telling me not to fully give myself to this guy. Because, yeah, he's... I don't even know what to say. <clears throat> you are. You basically just said, he's a bit scared about his ex coming in. And he doesn't want to disrespect her. And I said, look, if my ex come in, I don't want to be like you, David. And he was like, yeah, I get that, but I just don't want to disrespect her. I said, if you feel like... This is going to disrespect her, then don't sleep in my bed. This is why I don't fucking put my feet on the ground there. I can feel myself. Thank you, Susie. Letitia is so into David, you know, her perfect man walked out the water and if he isn't into her, then honestly, he needs to get his head checked. The only person that's going to look at that is him. My time in the villa before David came in was kind of like, ugh. Like I felt out of place, I felt like there was no one there for me. And then David comes in and literally turns it all upside down and I felt happy. And now it's kind of just come to an end and I just feel like so awkward because I've been telling everyone how much I like him. And now I've got to go back there and be like, well, oh, yep, guys, that lasted a good few days, but it's done. Messed up, man. 